After I made the video about SAS, I was curious about the effectiveness of nose cones. Because in real life, anything that goes through air should be as aerodynamic as possible. And on rockets, nose cones help a lot. So here we have our three rockets again. And now some big ones. On the left, no nose cone. On the right, a MK7 nose cone. And in the middle, a Rockamax brand adapter with an aerodynamic nose cone. The rest of the rocket is the same and it just goes straight up. You will see the image freeze as the rocket reaches its arc's highest point. The results were surprising for me and maybe they are for you. The first interesting thing is that the right rocket with the MK7 nose cone spins after flame out. And I don't know why, but it gets back on track. Here we have it. 33.4 km for the MK7. 38.4 km for the rocket with a Brockmax thingy and 44.4 km for the rocket with no nose cone. So if your rockets, at least in this version of the game, have no nose cones, they go higher. I didn't expect this to happen. The difference of 6 km in height between the rocket without a nose cone and one with a quite improvised nose cone is huge, I think. But a rocket without any nose cone doesn't look right, even if they go higher up. And again with small rockets. On the left, no nose cone. On the right, the aerodynamic nose cone, which was previously on the Rockamax adapter. And in the middle, a NCS adapter with a nose cone tip, which can already be found on the stock Kerbal X rocket. One would expect that the rocket with no nose cone has the lowest arc of all. And the rocket with the more pointy nose cone would reach the highest altitude, because it's more aerodynamic. Again, there's a little tumble now in the middle rocket. I don't know why it happens. Maybe it's the nose cone or the drunk flight computer. We can already see that the rocket in the middle is about 4 km lower than the other two. After the race is finished, we have 17.2 km for the middle rocket. And the left rocket is the winner with 24.27 km. That's very interesting. A difference of 7 km between the first and the last. And the first has no nose cone. So in case you want a little bit more oomph on your Kerbal X, just delete the nose cones. Even if it looks crappy. A nose cone which points with its tip in the flight direction is more effective than one which space points to the flight direction. Because the airflow is better. This test tells us that in this version of the game airflow doesn't exist. So only air density, mass and a unitless number called drag has influence to your ascent. If airflow would have an effect, the left rocket would have a much lower arc. To sum it up, we can say that nose cones are, at this state of the game, useless. However, this might change during the further game development, so don't give up on nose cones. You might need them one day. That's all for the moment. I say goodbye. See you next time.